everybody, Kyle coming at you for another video. It's kind of late and dark at night, um, but I just want to make this quick video uh, specifically in response to somebody from the Money Makers Auto Dealers group on Facebook. Um, but if you came here off of YouTube or somewhere else and found this video, it can still be helpful to you. But Omar, this uh, video is for you. Um, so we were talking about using a scanner or a code reader to clear your codes in an OBD2 compliant vehicle in order to make it pass emissions. Well, I'm here to tell you that simply clearing your codes will not be sufficient. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So, we're going to come over here and turn on this scan tool. Okay, we'll let it boot up real quick. Okay, so now that we have uh, gone ahead and connected the scan tool into the OBD2 port of the car, we can see uh, any codes that are pending or that are full on uh, trouble codes. Um, so in like in this particular case, we have two uh, codes in this car. One is in the downstream fuel system trim, um, saying that it's seeing a rich condition. This actually can be caused by a bad O2 sensor or a leaking fuel injector, or there's a couple of different things that can cause this. Um, but I'm not gonna go over exactly how to fix these. I'm just gonna show you uh, kind of why you can't just clear a code and make your check engine light go away to pass the emissions test. So we've got these two codes, the downstream fuel system trim and transmission control system. Um, so these are the two codes that are causing the check engine light in the car at this time. And if you look at the top of the screen, there is what is called IM monitor status. So there's several different systems in the car that uh, have to go through what is called a whole drive cycle in order to be completed. So uh, these complete at different stages of the drive cycle and under certain conditions. So like, um, you know, you have to drive it so long, it has to be at operating temperature for a certain amount of time, um, has to reach certain speeds. There's different criterias for each system and every car might be a little bit different. But in any case, when you go to get your emissions tested, the very, very first thing that they're gonna do is look at the dash for your check engine light and then after they've looked at your dash for the check engine light, they're gonna go ahead and plug in probably a more expensive scanner than this, but a scanner of this nature, no less. And they will uh, make sure that your readiness monitors, these IM monitors are all completed. So as you can see, even if this had no codes in it right now, the readiness monitors for the catalytic converter, the EGR, which is uh, exhaust gas recirculator, and the O2 sensor have not completed. So they would uh, basically fail you in this situation. Uh, it wouldn't be like a hard fail, like there's something definitely wrong with your car, but they would say you need to drive the car for a little while and then come back. And that's a standard nationwide because otherwise people would just clear their check engine light, they would go in for their emissions test and pass uh, right away or very easily. Um, so what Omar asked me on Facebook was, can he just use this to clear the check engine light on the dash and then go in and uh, pass an emissions test? Well, you cannot because as you can see, I will tell it to clear the code the very first thing it tells me before I even clear the code is that it erases all DTCs, which means diagnostic trouble codes, freeze frame data, and resets the IM monitors. So uh, right there, the scan tool 
and most scan tools will tell you this or some type of information similar to this, it's telling me that if I do this, all my monitors will be reset until it completes yet another drive cycle. So just to show you that, I'm gonna go ahead and erase the diagnostic trouble codes. And as you can see, the check engine light definitely did go away. So uh, in most situations, uh, you know, you would clear your check engine light if it were something like a intake air temperature uh, sensor problem or a cam position sensor problem or any of those types of things. But, and as you can see, it does show that there are no uh, diagnostic trouble codes in the computer right now. But if you look here, um, up here, now even more readiness monitors are not complete. So in this situation, even if this did turn off the uh, check engine light, that would only pass you from through one stage of the process of doing your emissions just to go on to fail the next stage, which would be the readiness monitors. So guys, that's the reason why you can't expect these scan tools in any scan tool. It doesn't matter if you have a Harbor Freight, a Snap-on, a uh, Modus, or you have some uh, Mac tools. I think there's an OT, a company called OTC that makes some really great uh, scan tools. It doesn't matter how much you pay for one. It doesn't matter which model you have. The process by which the OBD2 interface system works is such that no matter what one you have, you're going to find that when you reset the check engine light or clear the codes is the technical term, in the module, it resets all of your readiness monitors, which will make it so that they will not complete an emissions test for you. So needless to say, having a OBD2 scan tool is an amazing tool to have at your disposal because it helps you diagnose your problems much more quickly and easily and in a lot of cases is the absolute only way that you can diagnose a problem with your car um you know especially you know we're talking about these tools only work on cars 96 and newer and as you get newer they are more dependent on their electronics this is your key into the electronic system of your vehicle so you can quickly access the trouble codes and go over what you need to do so that you can save yourself a lot of time and money because like another po person had commented on the post that this is in response to it could be something as simple as a gas cap or it could be a catalytic converter or it could be something else simple like an intake air temperature sensor, which some can be bought for $10 and replaced very easily. And then once you replace the intake air temperature sensor, which you could diagnose using this uh, scan tool, you could then reset the code and the code would be reset for good. Drive it around for a full drive cycle, verify in your scan tool that all of your readiness monitors are complete and your check engine light has not come back and I'll save you a lot of time going to your emissions test. So guys, I thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to everybody at the Money Makers Auto Dealer group on Facebook and thank you to all of my subscribers. If you like my videos, please subscribe for more because I have more like these coming at you.